Hello, Jaybot back for another video. What the hell happened there? Um, yes, it's been a while. Um, as you can see from the title of this video, um, LFCC 2014 Total Madness. Um, yeah, this is a rant about this weekend's London Film and Comic Con. Run by Showmasters, yes, who run other conventions such as Collectomania and the infamous uh, Star Trek conventions, or De Star Trek Destination London and Destination Germany, and of course the third one coming in October, Destination London again. Yes. You're probably wondering, all right, did J-Bot go there? No, I didn't. And you're probably wondering why what qualifies you then to do about they to do a rant about it then if you didn't go simple two main things i have been to earl's court too before where they held lfc c yeah lf yeah lfc c 2014 i actually been there twice before once for an it convention back when i was at college my class and once a few years are back for Collectomania. So I I know the layout of the pla of the, the place. I went to Destination Star Trek one as well. So I'm very I I know what a Showmasters event is like. And I know what the the layout of the place. So, and this is based a lot on what I've heard friends have said. The thousands of complaints on Facebook on various pages. And this is my sort of take on what I've seen also from various pictures and stuff as well in footage so you know this isn't my take this is fact as well um, of course the, the big thing with this uh, event is the last European uh, appearance of uh, Stan Lee the legendary Stan Lee so you can imagine a lot of people wanted to see him despite the stupid autograph and photo prices which I'll get on in a bit um, so as you can imagine it was extremely busy now to give Showmasters and Stanley a little bit of, uh, to their credit they did put on extra photo shoots and extra autograph sessions on the Friday as well um, on top of the what they'd already released, the extras they'd released already that they made a shambles of. So extremely busy, stupidly long queues. Not everyone that had tickets, or whether they had tickets or not, got in because it got well over capacity. Because showmaster staff and the Earl's Court staff were so fucking stupid and couldn't organise the thing properly and people were actually getting in for free no one was looking at their the stamps properly if they were coming back in or checking for tickets which is why it got overpacked very quickly very very quickly from what I've heard and of course the Saturday hot as well And Showmasters Earl's Court in that effing stupidity didn't think to put the bloody aircon on till Sunday. No matter what they say, because I'm well aware that Jason, whatever his name is, that is the head honcho behind Showmasters, has put a, um, a message up on his form categorically saying that the aircon was on on the Saturday. Well, there's 60 odd people between your forum and Facebook saying it wasn't. And 
probably quite and quite a few people witnesses seeing the police forcing you to put the fucking aircon on. They were forced by the police to put the aircon on. This shows what these people are about and the clusterfuck the queues where um the tube I forgot what the tube I think it's it was called tube station is or whatever it's called. I imagine London Transport Police are gonna be having some severe fucking words with you, Jason. because um, I bet they weren't pleased. I've there's countless um posts about fire exits being chained up. That's a no no. Um, various problems where you where you put on extra photo shoots for Stanley, um, where you put on a third lot of them, and the tickets were sold ages. And rather than having it as a separate um, shoot at the time that was on the tickets that people had, like my friend Sam Palmer, you followed it on and made it one big session. So him and I imagine a lot of other people missed out on the photo. I know that he wasn't too pleased about it, and the staff were quite rude to him. And I know from experience that the staff were rude, so... Fact, that one. It was an absolute clusterfuck, and the Sunday was slightly better. From what I've heard. Unseen. It was a wee bit better, but it's still overcrowded. That venue is too small for doing that sort of thing. You didn't plan it properly. You did not estimate how many people were um, coming for Star Nine because you you just didn't. As much as you say you you did like it, you you underestimated it badly. I don't think you looked at the figures properly. Um, face facts: whether it costs you more or not, you need to be going somewhere like the Excel. Which is a lot bigger that can cope with that. You know, you need to actually spend fucking money, you greedy bastards. That's what it comes down to money. Showmasters are greedy, no good wastes of human existence. They only care about money, they don't care about anything else, not about people's well being. They're bloody lucky no one got fucking killed, much less any of the, the celebrities. Unfortunately, they got off very lightly. They shouldn't have. They really shouldn't have. They'd had a uh, the fire alarm go off or something. People, you know, there would have been fatalities. It would have been a freaking Hillsborough disaster all over again. Because that was place that was, from what I can gather, two to three times over capacity, at least. Plus everyone else outside. But no, showmasters don't care about that. All they care about is the money. And I want to get onto a few posts that I shared on Facebook from Sunday. Um, yeah, no, that's the one about the aircon not being on. I don't know the. Supposedly, it wasn't. They weren't using it because it cost too much. Because of costs, is. But it also may have been faulty, I believe, on the Friday. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, and apparently, um, they had to cancel some autographs from photo ops on the Sunday because they'd knackered Stan out. Whether, whether it's Showmaster's fault or his people, he, he was knackered out. Um,. Oh yeah, apparently even the people that have missed out on photo shoots because of clashes or, uh, you know, where they've not told people when shoots have changed, that sort of thing, they're not going to get a refund, apparently. In fact, they're not even looking at complaints until tomorrow. That's that's how nice these fucking cunts are. Nice. I imagine you're going to get another public viewing on Watchdog. But yeah, nice. You're fuck up, you pay him back. 
you are legally obliged to. You seem to have forgot that. You seem to think you're above the frickin' law. And that's about people walking in at least 12 volts straight in. Yeah, this whole... Uh, now, um... Right. This is probably my personal opinion, because I think this is more just become part of part of conventions now, and that's paying for the uh, photographs and autographs. Well, not so much the photographs, but the the autographs. I don't agree with it. They they overcharge, particularly show masters. Um, Stanley's autograph cost you forty five quid. Um, and his photo shoot sixty five quid. Which is ridiculous. Corey Fisher, um, Princess Leia, for anyone that doesn't know, uh, I believe was sixty pound an autograph, sixty five for a photo shoot. And Ian McDermott, the Emperor, if I pronounce that right. Um, Autograph price seventy quid. His photo price sixty five quid. In fact, they dropped the price. That was around ninety five before. It's interesting. The photo is cheaper than his autograph. The prices are too high. And don't say it's how they how they pay for the uh, to get them there. No, it's not. The first ten twenty guests pay for their fees. And expenses. The first that they sell pay for that. Particularly with Ian McDermott because I think he still lives in the UK so he's not exactly an expensive travel you know expenses wise. They're cash cows. I don't agree with having to pay for autographs. Photo shoots that's a bit more acceptable but for autographs that's bullshit because you could just go and buy something autographed on eBay or whatever probably cheaper. They need to be decisively cheaper. I don't agree with paying for them, but if I have to, something reasonable, 10, 15 quid, which some of them are each, not this, not sort of 65, 70 quid, that's ridiculous. Just so these money-grubbing bastards like Showmasters and Media 10 and all the other ones can make a bit of money, it's just something I don't agree with. And they were being particularly strict with Stanley. Now I don't know. Some of this could have been his people. Some of it is showmasters, and that's a fact. Um, and someone had posted meeting Stanley, no shaking hands. Well, that's down to them. And I know he's 92. If he doesn't, he doesn't. He could have though. I know he's got arthritis, but I, I think that was more down to showmasters to get as many people through as possible. No photos or video recordings. I want to get onto this a little bit. Yeah, that's just so you can make money from the photo shoots. Well, fuck you. Most of the guests actually came there, did photos with people, despite what the showmaster staff was saying. If you look at all the photos, so <coughs> just shows how much respect they have for you, showmasters. Including Stan himself, because someone got caught taking a photo. Stanley said um, himself, and he was witnessed by more than one person, because I've seen the Facebook posts saying it's all right. Showmasters guy snatched the guy's phone, and delete the photo. Not nice, and that's technically assault and battery, I think. No questions, no personalisation, so you can't even talk to the bloke. So it just shows where your 60 plus or 45 quid's going. Fucking shambles. Whether it's to get as many people in as possible, it's just, if you're going to charge stupid money, at least give them value for money. But no, you wouldn't give a fucking toss about that. So yeah, I... They're just plain greedy. Um, in fact, Showmasters 
don't charge that much when they do it. Well, they're not show masters. They? they don't do sort of like that. They're going to be in trouble. When they go to Ireland, because in Ireland when Media 10 were there for their Collectomania or whatever it was, I can't remember what their convention was called, all the signings were 15 quid and the photo shoots were free. So you can imagine Showmasters um, work template over there is going to be a clusterfuck. Or a time bomb. It's absolutely ridiculous. So it needs to be done about this. Um, Showmasters needs to be up on charges because they put people's lives at risk. And they've not even apologised. They've not acknowledged people's complaints. They just deleted any negative feedback that they can. They won't even hold their hands up to it. And this fucking cunt, Jason, had the ghoul in his face for him postable. They never made the same mistake twice, really. But you did the Star Trek, didn't you? Didn't you? You probably will again, from the looks of it. I'm fucking sick of showmasters. All they care about is money. Fuck everyone else. Fuck people's well-being. It would have... I don't know if it's going to sound horrible, it would have fucking served you right if people had ended up dead, or Stan Lee had ended up in hospital, it would have served you fucking right. I think that's the only way you're going to change when someone gets killed at one of your conventions, and then you have to change. Fuck you, showmasters. Fuck you. I think I'm done. I'm glad that people, some people did have a good time there, but on the whole, because I know I got in an argument with some fucking troll on Facebook that clearly is um, Showmaster staff that was being a bit of an arsehole. He was being a friendly arsehole about it, but he's still being an arsehole. So, fuck you all. And this whole thing with tickets, where if you don't buy a ticket on the day, it's your own fault. Well, not everyone can afford pre-order the tickets and the fact that you are having photo op and autograph op tickets going on sale or being on sale still after you stopped selling tickets to get in bit fucking stupid showmasters grow up grow a set of fucking balls sort it out and apologize to people don't try and just gloss over it and like blatantly lie Fuck you, showmasters.